The calendar is flipped to July, and we say happy Canada Day to one and all. Our nation's 156th birthday is the site now Winnipeg for match number 50 of the campaign. Introducing the teams, we'll begin with the hosts in their 4 1 2 3. It is Phil Dos Santos making two changes. Andy Baccaro is into the right back position. Jaime Siaj back at the number nine in place of Anthony Novaks. Here's how Tommy Wilden Jr. lines up his side today in their 4 2 3 1. Two changes for the Cavs as well. Frazier aired into the right back position. Sergio Camargo will play out on the right wing with Ali Musi tucked in to start the match as the number 10 behind Meyer Bevin. Cubs are playing at that center back position is interesting, but it's uh, it's probably more worrying for people who are watching than it is for the coaches. Here's Bevin from Aird. It gets caught up in his feet, but he's still able to redirect it past Ryan Yesley. His league leading seventh goal of the campaign. We speak so much of the defensive organization. It is just a skip pass from Dan Clompwell. Eric gets it into the box. Probably not how we expected to get it to Bevan. And Meyer does the rest. Pops up. Veteran CV. Blocks for days. Again, tested once more. Gutierrez, the cross in towards the spot. Subs, but no, it's starting fast. Pianelli bodied Eric Kobza out of the way, and the Cavalry rookie still on the pitch, wondering why there wasn't a foul to go against it. He was yeeted, as the kids would say. Most recent and pressing cause for concern is Gutierrez on the free kick, punched down by Marco Carducci as the Valor captain works it around the wall and gets another shot on target. The Cavs can clear. I'd love to see him go at Camden. Now that Aloha and him have missed him. Oh my Aloha word, Aloha. goodbye, says Gote and Tigney. And here come the reinforcements. Offload Camargo. How has he missed? Bella had a tap in. Camargo had a wide open net. Look at this guy take the ball. Okay, Tommy, everything I've said about you joking about the Alfonso right Davies speed, I take it back. Bang. See you later. <laughs> I think Sanchez has knocked into Pianelli too, but what has he done here? The thing that I try and do in this booth is say enough of things that eventually work <laughs> right. I didn't get the defending part of this whole concept <laughs> right. <laughs> Low into the 44th minute, takes it on himself. Pulls the trigger on a fine line, trying to beat Marco Carducci to his right post. better too. I mean, Loa getting on the ball again. He's had a few of those this season. He has. And the feet of Uloa. Tries to receive without breaking a stride. Now Vaccaro across Siaj again. He's putting himself in the right places. But that's got to be excruciating for both him and Anthony Novak on the bench, Will. This is a fantastic ball. Sanchez disappearing behind the onboard and returning to play the ball in. Outswinger, clomp on it again first. Such an aerial threat for Cavalry back there. Yanga Berry, an offload to Campbell. A cutback, a shot that deflects off of Kopsa. Nearly fools Carducci, that didn't miss by much. from Antigny and trying to return it, running on is Mason, delays. Yesley goes tumbling and Mason can never get back to his feet. What a ball by Moosey here. Watch this ball. The whole sequence absolutely rules. Yeah. Which is a bit surprising because A, these are
these guys know the turf here. B, they have quality from distance. Sanchez misses and fires just and only just over the bar. Yeah, sometimes it's not just the fact that you can take a shot like this. It's not, there might be a deflection. If you can get it down, there might be something that happens, especially if something's not happening. Big miss, though. Alarcon, Escalante. But I think after five years. Oh, look at this from Dubrian. On the other side of it, Neil Gamberry. Trying to create some space on Clark. He finds Novak. Well, we'll look for more angles, but the pressing thing right now is the corner and Dubrian, who stands over the ball. Hurls it in. Patient, patient, waiting. The other trend that's bucked is that stat we saw earlier where four times being up. That's right. No longer that stat. Look at that. That was three minutes that just got burned out of that little fight. That's good news for our graphics guy Hunter. He'll be allowed in the city of Calgary moving forward as that trend did not continue. But a professional performance here, Mr. Cromack. 2 0 goals on the road. Bevan in the seventh. Gote and Tigny, who was dynamic as he has been these past few weeks, has the insurance marker.